right. Okay. I always wait for the little thing to come up there in the corner saying that um, I'm live. So hi, everybody. And um, I'm going to get right into it here. Uh, this whole thing here, um, you know, I, I can continue to see some new evidence and things coming out. And I just, I just, some things I'm not going to talk about. Other things I just think, you know, I need to say this as a way to remind people what the Jesuits are, what the Jesuits want to accomplish, and why they're dangerous. I have been warning about these people for a long time, many years. Going back even before I got married, I was warning about the Jesuit order. Um, again, just to say it real quickly. The Counter-Reformation was started in 1540 by Ignatius Loyola, or Ignatius, if you want to say it the Spanish way. Um, and it was designed to get rid of the Protestant Reformation and to bring all people back under the control of Rome. Because Rome in the 16th century was losing control of the different countries in Europe. <clears throat> and so the Jesuit order was created as a military branch of Roman Catholicism to draw all people back to under the authority of Rome. Okay. They are getting near to the final stages of this thing happening. Um, <clears throat> so um, just wanted to say that. But right here at the beginning, I'm going to show a very plain piece of evidence that is just it's a bold, bold faced lie right in your face. If you haven't seen this yet, I'm going to play it right now. All right. Here we go. Let me play this is the ABC News, mainstream media, uh, the Republican National Convention speech of Donald Trump. Listen to what he says. Okay, this is right here. You can see this scene. This is supposed to be the bullet, uh, which is ironic because the guy that uh, um, took the photo. Let me just show you this real quick here. The guy that took the photo was this guy right here, Doug Mills. Um, and he took all these other iconic photos, including the one with... Um, the guy telling George W. Bush right here that uh, the planes had hit the towers on 9-11 of 2001. So kind of an interesting thing that he just happened to be the guy that took the photo now of the bullet going past Trump's ear, um, which uh, I don't even believe that that is a bullet there. That doesn't even look legitimate. Um, you know, it looks very much faked. And I know somebody, I watched a video and the guy was saying that um, the camera that he was using can't even do the that many frames per second, but that's another issue. But listen to what Trump says here. Very important. Listen to this. Ear. I said to myself, wow, what was that? It can only be a bullet. And moved my right hand to my ear, brought it down. My hand was covered with blood. Okay. Um, he moved his hand to his right ear and, uh, right here it is the original video. Okay. Let me get this thing up here like this. So you can see it. He moves his hand, right hand to his ear, brings it down and it's covered in blood. Ready? Here we go. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Okay. Let's try to see if I can get back here. Okay, there we go. He sees it. It's covered in blood. Where is the blood? All right. Now, going back to this right here, he's obviously reading off of teleprompters. So now, let's just say, for the sake of argument here, that Donald Trump, in his mind, he remembered the thing of when he was on the ground. That's when he put his hand there and he saw the blood. All right. Um, he just kind of misspoke or the, his speech writers, they wrote it the wrong way or something like this. It's still it's very sloppy. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and I mean, wouldn't you remember that? You know, oh, it was covered with blood. There's not a drop on his hand, much less covered with blood. So I wanted to make a point about this because a lot of people are saying, hey, look, um, uh, you know, 
it, that we have gotten the evidence now. We've been able to prove that it was a bullet that went through his ear, which I've always questioned that because it's very improbable that a bullet can go through the ear. I mean, the timing to get that thing just right where, you know, I mean, maybe they were trying to actually kill Trump. I don't know. Maybe they were. I have no idea. He's one of them, so I don't know why they would. But, you know, he just moved his head just at the right time and it went through his ear and whatever else. It was all just, you know, just a coincidence or something. I don't know. But let's just say Trump is completely innocent. The left, the, the deep state, talk about that here in a little bit. They tried to assassinate him. Okay. And the guy took the shot and he actually went right through the ear and it all happened just the way. But you still have to deal with the fact that Donald Trump just lied. Or his speechwriters lied and he didn't think enough to say, hey, wait, whoa, this isn't correct. I, there wasn't any blood on my hand. You're looking at it. There's no blood on his hand. He just got done saying that there was blood. Blood covered his hand. Let's go back here a little bit. We'll play it again. And moved my right hand to my ear, brought it down. My hand was covered with blood. Just absolutely blood all over the place. Just absolutely blood all over the place. He's lying. Okay, he's lying. Let's continue playing a little bit. I immediately knew it was very serious that we were under attack. And in one move, we were under attack. Yeah. Movement proceeded to drop to the ground. Bullets were continuing to fly as very brave Secret Service agents rushed to the stage, and they really did. They rushed to the stage. These are great people at great risk, I will tell you, and pounced on top of me so that I would be protected. There was blood pouring everywhere, and yet, <laughs> there was blood pouring everywhere. Okay. Very weird. I'll play a little bit more here. He talks about his ear thing again. Let me get back to it just in a minute. In a certain way, I felt very safe because I had God on my side. I felt that. Then why haven't you ever repented of your sins? Why do you have he has Trump come out and, and publicly stated that the uh, um, you know, I don't ask God to forgive my sins. I'm just, you know, we're kind of okay with things and whatever. All the stuff that he's been involved with, all the multiple marriages and the sex perversion and, you know, messing around with Jeffrey Epstein. And, and uh, I'm God's man. You know, have you ever denounced your membership in the Jesuit order? I don't know. Oh, yeah, but God, he's God's man. Yeah. Okay. By the way, you um, can't see the other son, but he's Jesuit educated and the other son is Jesuit educated as well. So don't say, well, Donald Trump didn't know what he was part of. Then why did he put his other two, his two his, uh, sons through the Jesuit system? I think one went to Fordham, the other went to Georgetown. So. The amazing thing is that prior to the shot, if I had not moved my head at that very last instant, the assassin's bullet would have perfectly hit its mark, and I would not be here tonight. We would not be together. The most incredible aspect of what took place on that terrible evening in the fading sun was actually seen later. In almost all cases, as you probably know, and when even a single bullet is fired, just a single bullet, and we had many bullets that were being fired, crowds run for the exits or stampede, but not in this case. It's very unusual. Yeah, very unusual. But anyhow, um, I think he said something about the thing of the blood again, but whatever, it doesn't matter. The whole point is he just lied just plainly. And, oh, you must be for Joe Biden then or something. 
oh, people, when are you ever going to wake up? I see that in the comments, you know, and I just get it in the comments of my videos that I put out against this whole thing. It's Democrat or Republican, you, you know, you have to be for one or the other. Uh, uh, there's no choice, okay? There are no godly presidents coming that we could vote for, whatever else. The body of Christ has to pray fervently. I have no idea how much time we have till the catching up of the body of Christ. No idea. Um, but we're in serious trouble here. Um, and we're not at the election time yet, or selection time, I should say. Um, they're going to pull off a whole bunch of stuff probably from now till then. Lord only knows what they're going to do. All right. But one other thing I wanted to cover here, um, which I think is interesting. Uh, I'll put this over here. Um, <clears throat> I made a mention before in my other live stream I did five days ago here where I talked about the, the different gunshots. You can plainly hear that there's three, boom, 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 and then, and I didn't know how many it was. I didn't, I didn't really count it. didn't matter at the time, but it was five shots, okay? Three shots followed by five shots. All right, you can clearly hear it's two different guns. Let's listen to the audio here. Sounds like a suppressed type of rifle firing. Really weird, but then he'll play it all again here. So let's listen to this again. Okay, so you can clearly hear three shots come first. Boom, boom, boom. Like they're aimed. Boom, boom, boom. The next it's bam, 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 bam. You know, it's five. Or bam, 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 bam. Or whatever. Five. Okay. It's a quick, rapid fire succession. And for all you morons out there that try to say that, oh, Brian Dunninger is denying any bullets were ever fired. That's not true. I've never denied that. Well, people were shot down in the crowd. Yeah, I know. Terrible, horrible thing. They were firing real bullets. I've never said that they weren't. I said the chances, the probability of a bullet going through Trump's ear like that is the probability is almost impossible. It's almost an impossible shot to make on purpose, definitely. But even just as a random accident or something like that, that's why I've said there's a possibility it was something else. Maybe cut his ear with a razor blade or whatever. I don't know. If they come out with the proof and say, no, there was an actual bullet, then it would have been the first three bullets. Okay. Not the next five. You go here <clears throat> and um, listen to what is said. This was just released one day ago or a, a day or two ago or something like this. These are the actual officers that got up, the SWAT guys that got up uh, on the roof and they're laying there. It's blurry because the body, the dead body of this uh, Thomas Crooks or whatever is laying right there. But listen to what they say. Building. Okay. Because we're gonna have to start. And we're gonna have to get yeah, access and clear it out. Yeah, I believe in the area. Watch out for shell casings. Watch out for shell casings. Okay. Watch out for shell casings. What comes out of the gun when the gun, you know, the, the bullets are spent? Shell casings. Listen to what they say. The guy counts them. Listen. Two, three, four, five, right there. Two, three, four, five, right there five shell casings that they found to the right of the body. The ejection port on the side of an AR-15 is on the right side. They come out on the right side of him. And I saw a report that they said, oh, later they found the other three shell casings that were on the left side of the body. It's not possible. They would have gone out to the right. Hmm, five shell casings. What did we hear with the audio? Three shots first. <laughs> And then five shots. Hmm. They just found five shell casings beside the body. Think about that. If Thomas Crooks was the one that shot the five shots in rapid succession, oh, he just shot like this. If he's the one that shot, then that means he isn't the guy that shot Trump. Because the first three shots were the ones that hit Trump. The first shot hit him in the ear, if it was in fact a bullet. 
the first shot was the one that hit Trump. So that means Thomas Crooks is not the actual guy that did the shooting of Trump. He shot out into the crowd and killed some people and things. Yeah. He got uh, countersnipered in the head and whatever else. Well, okay. Uh, sentence against an evil work is executed speedily in that case. <laughs> you know the verse in Ecclesiastes. Um, but isn't that kind of weird? But I want to show you something else here, which I think is very odd. But uh, they said, well, I'll show you this really quick. Look at this police officer right here. Let me get thumbs up here. Um, no more ball, no more guys up here. Go, give me a solid perimeter. To four command. Ah, you can't hold on. I went right past it. Let me go back here a little bit. See if I can do it this way. To four command. At, I can't get the frame just exactly right. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do, tell you what. I'll do it. Uh, okay, there you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see his face, but he's. it looks like he's smiling really big. I just thought that was kind of odd. I don't, I don't know what to make of that. That's just kind of a little bit weird. But, um, you know, it, I mean, to me, it looks like he's smiling. Now, you know, they're up on a bright roof, so maybe he's going like this, you know, but it just seems kind of weird that he's smiling like that. But now another thing, remember that this SWAT officer right here that he has his badge cam on, he's standing literally right to the left of the body. Okay, the body's laying right, I think, in this area right here, this corrugated area of the roof right here. And look over this way. Look at all that stuff that's hanging there. You can see the stands down in here, but I'll see if I can get a better view of that. Um, maybe there. Okay, there you can see a little bit better. There's the stands, there's this red combine right here, this <clears throat> farm machine right there. There's this big thing hanging down this way. There's, you know, the big uh, screen here, I guess, that he was pointing, that Trump was pointing towards. And there's, you know, there's a bunch of stuff right here. I mean, this is literally right after it happened. So they didn't move anything, all right? Very important, remember that. Look at all that stuff right there. <clears throat> here you have this uh, animation thing. Listen to what they say. For some unknown reason, the shooter had a clear line of sight from an elevated level well positioned as a sniper nest. Interestingly, a heavy... A clear line of sight. It's a clear line of sight. Just, there isn't anything in between them. Um, yes, there is. And I was trying to zoom in to some of these <clears throat> angles here and things. See, because they moved everything right away. They didn't say, hey, whoa, crime scene, don't move anything. It's like they did with 9-11, kind of weird. They start tearing down the, the building right away, and crime scene investigators are coming in and saying, we'd like to take some pictures here. You know, oh, oh, we have to look for victims. We have to look for people and whatever. Okay, but, you know, you're disturbing the crime scene here. They, they moved everything out right away. And, you know, people are going back and they're saying, oh, you know, this is where the roof was. This is where, where the stand would have been approximately here and whatever. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of stuff in between the, the two of them. I would question if the guy had, you know, obviously he didn't have a clear shot going towards Trump. So, but, you know, could have fired out into the stands or whatever. But again, are, I mean, are you seeing any people over in here? <clears throat> I mean, could you even, I mean, there's a, a vehicle right there. It's It's very blurry. But from where these guys are standing, and they're standing, so they'd even have a better view, he was laying down, kind of got up. I think he just fired into the crowd. This Thomas Crooks guy. And they just went boom, and they shot him in the head and said, there, problem solved. We got the shooter. Everything's fine. You know, I don't think he did it. I don't think he did it at all. So kind of an interesting thing. But getting back to this whole thing of uh, – 
<clears throat> whole Trump, you know, he's the deep state is against Trump. They they want to stop Donald Trump. They have to stop Donald Trump. Uh, right here you have FordhamObserver.com inside Trump's days at Fordham. Um, you know, went to Fordham University, trained by the Jesuits. And, you know, his administration, uh, Anthony Fauci, uh, Jesuit trained. I, went, I think he went to a Jesuit high school. He talked about the one time I remember seeing a thing where Anthony Fauci said about how he used to ride the subway and he'd be reading Ignatius de Loyola's uh, Spiritual Exercises book, which I did a whole review on that whole book. Um, it's on my channel here. If you want to look at the mind control aspect of the whole thing and whatever else. Um, you know, so, <clears throat> I mean, literally the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius de Loyola are the foundation for MK Ultra. So, um, kind of weird. And, I'm, and I've been seeing stuff too about this Thomas Crooks that he had connections with the Secret Service and he actually had an FBI uh, email or something like this. So I don't know if that's true or just a scam or I don't know, but just weird. Um, but the Jesuits are intimately involved with all the stuff. Trump, Jesuit. Fauci, Jesuit. Robert Redfield, Jesuit. Um, uh, Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve, Jesuit. Um, what's the guy's name that did the speech? He went to jail for some. Steve Bannon, Jesuit. Um, uh, Brett Kavanaugh or whatever else. Trump appointed him to the Supreme Court, Jesuit. So you know, Trump's been. He surrounds himself with Jesuits. And so, you know, all this nonsense that you hear that Trump is, you know, he's not part of the deep state and all this other stuff. Um, yes, he is. Yes, he is. And again, OK, Trump is completely innocent. He was the victim here and whatever. Then why did he lie in front of all these people? All these people have seen the footage. They've seen the, the footage right there. It's, and he's the blood was covered in my hand. It was just completely covered in blood. There's not a drop on his hand. You say, well, maybe he he was thinking about maybe when he got up or whatever, um, you know, maybe it was after he got up. That's what he was thinking there. Um, okay. Right there is his hand, his right hand. Is there any blood on it? No. Even after he was down on the ground and things, you could say, well, you know, he had the blood there. It, he just, it didn't, it wasn't bleeding quite yet when he put his hand up originally. And then he took it down, you know. I mean, if if it had truly gone through the back, there'd be blood all over the collar of his shirt and everything. Just a little tiny bit right there and then coming out over his face. And he's saying at the convention, oh, it was just bleeding all everywhere. It's just blood everywhere. He lied. But uh, I've had people say, oh, you know, what's the your deal against Trump and whatever else? I mean, you can look at all these different charts. And see the national debt, how it went up with Trump. There's a, you know, there's Bush went up with all the war stuff that we went through with all the after 9-11. Obama was taking the, the debt up. And then you look at Trump and then you get right towards the end of his, you know, presidency there, 2020 or so, with the scandemic. And whoop, it went just <laughs> up like that, uh, just printing trillions upon trillions of dollars with the quantitative easing. And then he lies and says that, you know, we had the best economy ever. It's not true. Absolutely not true. And Trump brought this whole thing in. What's he going to bring in next time? So, and of course, if you haven't seen this video of mine, um, where you have, uh, you know, the United States of America right there, they're saying by 2025, the population is going to go from, when they had this out, it was 326 million 620,000 down to 99 million 553,100 that's the plan that they were saying there so and the money will go down and everything else um but i talked about that and after i did this video they took this website down by sheer coincidence i'm sure so <laughs> um yeah but um uh, you know, just all the arguing back and forth and everything on this whole thing, how, you know, is it possible to hit a bullet at 142 yards with, I originally, again, I said iron sights and people say, oh, you didn't do your research. Yes, I did. Early on, they were saying iron sights. 
And then it was a red dot scope. Now they're saying, oh, it could have actually been a different type of scope, a more of a telescopic type of scope or whatever else. You know, so don't say I did I did poor research. I was my videos are early on before other information came out. And like I said, maybe he was actually shot in the air. Maybe there was some kind of a the other sniper, the original one that shot the fire or that the, shot the three shots. Um, maybe they did actually hit him in the ear. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it's very clear that uh, this whole thing here, they're up on the roof. You can see it's blocked very badly. It's not a good shot from where he was at. There's a lot of stuff in the way of it right there. And uh, they found five shell casings which would have been the second round of shots that you heard, which was a different firearm than the first original three. And the first original three were, that's boom, coming back on target, boom, coming back on target and shooting one more time. The five is just a, a very quick out into the crowd or whatever. And, you know, he was probably told that he would be, they would arrest him and whatever else and things. And he didn't understand he was just going to be a patsy. So they use him and throw him away. But um, I will see some of your comments here. I didn't even get a chance to look at uh, some of them. Um, <clears throat> Trump spoke publicly yesterday without the patch on his ear. There was zero visible damage to his ear. He also publicly said that he is not a Christian. Huh. Thank you for sharing that, brother. That's interesting. Very interesting. Um. I suggest you watch Stranger Than Fiction. He slows it down and stops so you can clearly see no blood. I remember he did that in one of the videos. I couldn't think of which one it was. I just thought I'd show this one quickly. But yeah, go watch his videos covering it. He does an excellent job on it. Um, this very likely is MK Ultra case. Yeah, I would agree with that, sister. I think definitely that's involved. Um, Uh, Trump's grandmother's name is Elizabeth Christ Trump. That's weird. I didn't know that. That's definitely interesting, brother. Thank you for sharing that. Um, uh, brother Brian, did you happen to see the news about the incredibly blasphemous opening ceremony the Olympics did to mock the Last Supper? Yeah, uh, I did. All the transgender stuff. Again, ignite the right. That's what it's all about. Get people ready to start. You know, the time will come. The day that kill you will think that they do God's service. That's the far end of it when a lot of the killings already been done. But they're building up to that point where the Antichrist, he comes and, you know, uh, you know, he goes out, you know, uh, what's the, let me get the verse. I get into all this stuff from my mind saying all these other things. I can't start to forget how to quote scripture. Um. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. I was thinking of the next one, the second beast, uh, takes peace from the earth, basically, and brings war. Um, but the Antichrist comes and he conquers. Well, it's obviously not just him conquering. He has an army that's waiting for him. And that will be your trad cat um, and Protestant and you know Jew and whatever else that join with him. To go out and kill people and they'll be killing the transgender people and again you know people get all weirded out because they say oh you're the only right-wing pastor i know that warns the left about the right uh yeah i'm a christian and i am conservative people would say right wing whatever but i believe in being able to defend myself i believe in you know constitution as a pretty good system of law but god-given rights and things but that doesn't mean that i hate people on the left 
my job as a preacher is to get the gospel to all all people out there all creatures okay so that's why i do that um Um, Brian, do you really think if within five months that many people will die by 2025 or did they, did they, do they predict by the end of 2025, it will happen? Well, my wife, uh, is a military veteran of two branches of the military. And, um, she, we talked about this different times and she said the military has their stated goals and then they have, um, okay. Uh, what actually happens, you know, they have their their standards and their objectives and whatever, and they try to reach objectives, but it doesn't always happen. So by 2025, possibly, they could certainly do a lot of things over the next five months, certainly. Um, during 2025, yeah, that would be a lot more likely, but uh, could it go till 2026 or later? They, it could, if things get messed up. Um, Are there any vids of you preaching? Oh uh, yeah, most of my videos are me preaching, um, teaching the word of God, but I also have old ones of me in church buildings. I did one, a live stream actually, you can check through my live streams. I did one where I you know, watched one of my old preaching videos from many years ago inside a church building. Um, Eucharistic revival of the Roman Catholic Church ends in 2025. I remember about that. I did actually uh, do a video on that. Um, thoughts on Project 2025? Yeah, that could be part of it as well. That they're, you know, getting that out there to kind of ignite the right and give them some ideas and things. Um Missed it. Went up. I was trying to do it. Uh, in, Sam, in 1 Samuel 19, chapter 19, verses 9 through 10, King Saul tries to kill David by throwing a spear at him while he's playing the harp. David escapes the attack. Um, yeah, they like to to mimic things in the Bible. It makes the best stories. The Bible is the greatest uh, book ever printed. So they, you know, they'll Hollywood will oftentimes copy and twist the stories of Scripture because they'll have more power that way. So. That's probably what they did too with the thing of the right ear, similar to the right eye. Um, I don't know. Uh, what are your thoughts on AI and the tech industry? Um, it's going to be part of the worshiping the beast and his image. Um, I do believe that, but a lot of it's going to be to destroy uh, the economy further destroy the economy where they won't need many people to do the jobs and whatever else it's going to make it a lot more actual sense in the future to uh, have you know robots and whatever doing work 24 hours a day seven days a week they don't um, you just pay for the electric and upkeep of them um, not like other people Um, Brother Brian, do you think the huge population drop here will be caused by the shoulder tap, something else, or a combination? They have a lot of different things that they could do at this point in time. It's up to what God will allow them to do. That's the whole thing. And again, you know. I a lot of you right now are just thinking you're some in, insignificant housewife, uh, just a guy that drives truck. You, I'm a guy that does videos. I'm uh, just I'm just a Christian. Who am I? You know, but you have to remember, we are literally the army that fights against these people. Um, that's why, you know, we cannot be just in some church building and whatever else. I mean, if all of us, 
all my faithful viewers got together and we all said, hey, you know what, we're going to have a church building. Brother Brian's going to be the pastor, you know, Jack Hiles or something kind of call it. And I'm there and everybody cheers and I come out and I'm preaching. Man, it would be infiltrated the first Sunday that it would be open. I mean, it'd be so filled with people coming in there and messing with it and whatever else. That's why God wants us separated and, and apart and isolated, you know, and that's why we're such a threat to these devils that Trump is a part of. His, him and his Jesuit buddies, they hate us. And they're trying so hard to mimic us. And they'll use the King James Bible. Again, remember the Jesuit oath. If you don't know about the Jesuit oath, you can look it up. I have it on my channel, America's Not Babylon, the thing with Eon Paisley. He goes over the whole Jesuit oath. But you can, you can just Google it. I mean, it's available. Um, but you read the Jesuit oath, they will do anything at all. There isn't anything that's off limits to a Jesuit. They'll act like a Christian. They'll act uh, like a Protestant. They'll do whatever they have to do to deceive their enemies. And that's what you have to understand. And that's why Trump, uh, he's, oh, uh, he's a Protestant, uh, you know, kind of. And his wife is a, you know, Catholic and he's raising his children Jewish and his daughter's married to a Jew. And, you know, they're just blending everything all together. And he can be all things to all people. So again, he is an antichrist. You know, my video I did the other day, there's no question about that. Donald Trump is an antichrist. Um, he is not the antichrist. I don't believe that he's the antichrist, but understand that. But, uh, you know, the Bible warns about people in the last days that there would be, that they would have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And that we're to turn away from those people. Um, there are people that go to church buildings and they have a form of godliness, but there's no power there because they're there in their little social club and they're not actually engaging the enemy. Um, we are called to engage the enemy. He who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. We're supposed to hinder this stuff. That's why I'm doing this video. Um, Okay. Um, Brian, your thoughts. I know we can't predict the rapture catching up, but 2033 would be a good year. If indeed Christ died in, in 3 AD, in other words, that would be 2,000 years. Uh, wouldn't the church age be exactly 2,000 years? Yeah, but we don't really know. We don't really know about the thing of the Julian calendar versus the Gregorian calendar. The Catholic Church has messed with the calendar, so we don't really know the exact year. I mean, I think we're close to it. I don't think we're, you know, 200 years off or anything. But to be able to time it out, eh, I don't know. Um, is Biden Jesuit? No, uh, he was not trained by Jesuits. But I, re I do remember he hearing that he was given some um, awards by the Jesuit order. So. That's their way of initiating you in. Um, Eon Paisley was post trib up to his death. Yeah, he also gave in to some of the, there was a Catholic organization over there, and he sat down and had a little meeting with them and things later on. So major issues with Eon Paisley. I'm not saying that the guy was a great Bible-believing preacher. There were some very big issues there. Did any of you, any one of you watch the slow motion of the earshot? Isn't it odd that Trump had no blood on his hand after he touched his ear? I didn't see the slow motion of the earshot thing. I heard people talking about it, but I mean, with all the artificial intelligence stuff, they could fake any of this stuff, you know. Um, Biden used Jesuit priest to bless America at his inauguration. I think I remember something about that. I think you're right. And he did some weird stuff with the... Uh, Excuse, uh, he did some weird stuff too um, with the inauguration. There was a lot of really weird stuff that was going on there. Street preaching often rubs people the wrong way. I believe in 
one-on-one -on -one conversations in the, in the supermarket, for example. Yeah, you know, it doesn't, the knowledge that's from above, let me give you a scripture on that. Um, straight preaching, I've gone straight preaching and I've been through the thing of people flipping me the bird and, you know, yelling at me and, you know, and you feel good because, you know, um, I've, you know, been persecuted for the cross of Christ and whatever. Well, to a certain extent, but straight preaching can get rather arrogant and very prideful. I've known some straight preachers that were extremely prideful. Um, let me think. Uh, I mean, I, I do these live streams and it just messes up my mind. Um, okay, which is from, which is from, well, that's not what I'm looking for either. <laughs> I can't think of the, the verse right now. Um, the knowledge which is above it from above is first pure and peaceable and easy to be entreated um, is the verse I'm thinking of and I'm messing this one up terribly but okay I know another verse or another word Sensual devilish. There it is. James chapter 3. I was in the wrong chapter. <laughs> um, James chapter 3, verse 13. Who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. Meekness. But if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. Um, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. Um, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Uh, the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Okay. It took me a little while to get to that. But the point that you made there um, in the comment section, I should have left your comment up. But the point that you made there is such a good point. Uh, this whole street preaching confrontational we're going to tell you, you know, uh, where to get off and whatever else and will be offensive. Um, the Holy Spirit's not in that stuff. Okay. There might be times where it might get a little bit, you know, some tension. But, you know, just Lord, give me an opportunity to witness to somebody today. And you start talking to somebody. You know, oh, they start getting mad. You say, okay, hey, sorry. We'll walk away. Done. Um, it's all that's needed. And, um, you know, you're not going to get to heaven and have this big, you know, I've led 20 million people to the Lord or something like this. Uh, the, a lot of that stuff, it's man-made. And I was taught on that. I was taught the put through the soul winning classes and everything at Baptist churches, you know, and this is what you say that, you know, work out your little thing that you do, your little speech that you give and all this other stuff. It's nonsense. But very good point. Thank you for bringing that up. So. Okay. Let's look in here at other comments. Well, I ignore my question. What was your question? I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Rewrite it. I apologize if I, I messed it. I missed it. I was trying to find stuff over on this other screen. So, but uh, redo your question there.
Can reading Jesus Calling book only lead you astray? I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Okay. How small would a town have to be to be safe when war breaks out in the cities? Um, I don't know. It could probably spill over into the into the small towns, but you know, I would say maybe a couple thousand people. You know, I'm not a good one to ask because um, I think we have about two or three thousand people here in the town of Patton, so not a very big town. Um, so. Don't think your small town is safe at all because that's where the military will feel safe also. Yeah, but if they, the military is also going to have to think about logistics, you know, um, coming up to one of the big problems with northern Maine for logistical type of stuff is that it's kind of up at the point of North America. So it's kind of, you, you know, getting convoys up to resupply and everything. You know, other areas of the country you can just go through and you can resupply different areas. But we did have Loring Air Force Base up here in Limestone to the northeast of where I'm at right now. So, um, and that's a big airport up there that they can still use. Um, but anyhow, so um, I guess I'll leave it at that. Uh, question do you think the antichrist could be a black man not obama um well obama wasn't a black man <laughs> okay so just to make that clear he was mingled um and i do believe that the antichrist is going to be mingled as well um so okay well i guess i'll let it go there but um just be careful because there's going to be a lot more deception from now till the selection time. Um, it's all Jesuit theater. They're masters of propaganda. They're the ones that actually used to set the ratings for the theater, you know, G and PG and PG-13 and R and whatever else. Um, you can look that up as well. Um, I don't know if I ever covered that in one of my videos. I might have done a lot of videos on the Jesuit order. But um, study the Jesuits, you know, check out what's going on. Um, with them trump don't expect him to make the country great again he's not going to he's going to bring more tyranny like he did the first time but you know we're dealing we're starting to deal with the the big problem i have with trump is this thing of the charismatic leader it's you know and you get the people just uh, you know he's got a thing on his ear and they all put things on their ear you know i mean we're literally at that point where it's mass formation psychosis is being used and they can control the masses and this is what the jesuits have been building up to and ultimately he's the dry run i believe for the antichrist the actual man of sin that's coming in the future they'll test out some things with trump beta test it and whatever and then the time's going to come that they will actually implement it with their real man of sin but um this man's a dangerous man don't ever forget that um, he's not about to come out and repent of his sins and whatever else. Again, the Antichrist, it's already written about him that, you know, there's not going to be, well, maybe he could get saved or something. No, he's actually preordained to the position that he's going to be in. And if this guy's a copy of that, I highly doubt he's going to get saved. And if he did, he would be assassinated, actually truly assassinated, and they would make sure that they did a good job like they did with Kennedy. And I know that there have been different theories that they said that JFK actually got saved. And that's why he went after the CIA, started to print, um, you know, uh, currency and things like that. That was actually issued by the federal government, not by the Federal Reserve. And I don't know if that's true or not. I have no idea. But they made sure that they killed Kennedy. And if they really were, truly wanted to kill him, they would have done a better job at it. Um, that's why. Uh, you can say he was innocent and it and it was just all everything was done against him but i just showed you the proof that he openly lied or at least his speech writers lied so that is going to be it stand by the king james bible 
and uh, we will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.